Hey guys, welcome back. Flam sent me their brand new Power Flam Fusion Collision Avoidance Device, which I will install and test in our ASG29. Especially here in Europe, most of the gliders have already installed a Flam compatible device, and in competitions, it is even mandatory to use one. About five years ago, I've installed this Power Flam core in our standard Lipo. Back in the days it was really a huge advantage compared to the classic flam because the range increased a lot and I was able to receive ADS-B signals from planes which also increased the safety. So is it worth to upgrade your existing flam installation with a new power flam fusion? Well, we will discuss this topic at the end of the video. But first of all, let's compare the Power Flam core with the successor, the Power Flam Fusion. Here on the outside, you can see that the housing is the same, also, the mounting holes are identical. At the front side, there we have all these connectors. In general, they have also the same position and the same functionality, but here the antenna connectors changed because now you can use this Flam all around the world. With the Power Flam core, there were two versions available, one for the European market and one for the American market. So now if you want to ship your glider to America to fly there during summer, uh, then you can use the Power Flam Fusion and it's not necessary to change the device. And with an optional adapter kit for the antennas, you can even use your old antennas. So I think it's really a good option. Then for me, the best new feature is the connectivity. With the Powerflam Fusion, we have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. With the Powerflam Core, we only had the USB connection to set up the Flam, to download flight logs, and so on. With this device, you can connect your smartphone to the Wi-Fi connection, then set up the device. You can make an update, you can download the flight log after the flight, and so on. This is really handy and really useful. The Bluetooth connection is implemented so that you can connect your smartphone or tablet during flight with a navigation application. Um, for example, we glider pilots usually use XCSAR and then you also have your FLAM traffic on your smartphone, which is really good, especially if the glider is a glider from the club, then most of the pilots have their own navigation device and it's not installed in the panel. So let's get to the ASG29 and let's install the Powerflam Fusion. Then here we have the air traffic display connected with the RJ45 connector. This is the main power supply with the D-sub connector and it also is connected to our open barrier glide computer. This here is the USB connector for updating the FLAM. We won't need it as much as before with a new device, but I will still connect. So in my case, I won't use adapters. I simply will change the antennas here, the FLAM antenna and the ADSB antenna. Even the GPS antenna is different, so we will also need to replace this one. Let's attach some Velcro here. I have here some zip ties to secure it. Great, now install all these cables. First, the USB cable, the DSA connector. So oh, let's get these antennas here. They do look the same as before, but have the different connector here. Here we have the blue antenna to ADS-B and the red antenna to FLAM A. If we have a second FLAM antenna, then we will connect it to FLAM B which I will add later on. If you have any good recommendations of a FLAM antenna setup in the ASD29, let me know in the comments below. I'm not really satisfied with the range up to now. I'm planning to have an antenna on the bottom of the fuselage as well, but for now we have the test set up. 
This is the air traffic display where we will see the FLAM traffic and ADS-B traffic later on from the FLAM Fusion. So let's check if I can connect the power FLAM Fusion to my smartphone. I already can see here the Wi-Fi connection on the rear side here of the housing. I will see the password. Sorry guys, it was really cold outside. It's already winter. It would be better to work in a workshop. That's why I'm here in my small YouTube studio and have a Flam Fusion set up on my table with a power supply, connected uh, all these antennas, the Flam antenna, the ADSB antenna and the GPS antenna for a minimalistic setup. So let's check out what we can see here on the Flam hub. That's how they call their application. To access the Flam Hub, we need to type in here a specific address. So this is Flam Hub, the, the user interface. There you can see the status, it's working, but we don't have proper GPS, we don't send and we don't receive. We are still on the ground and um, there's no IGC recorder. So let's see what we have here in the menu. We can configure the Flam, we can configure the Wi-Fi, and the Flam Hub. Flam Hub is here the application. Then we can update the firmware, the obstacle database. We can download IGC logs. Let's try this one. As you can see, there's no flight up to now. Um, the firmware update here, we have a smaller problem. Um, first of all, you need to download the Flam firmware from the homepage from Flam under support and then you say upload let's see it's the same version as this one and with the same method you can update the flam hub firmware everything is on on this device on the power flam fusion so we are not connected to the web up to now and we are only on this device so that's why you need to switch between um, a proper Wi-Fi connection or your mobile data and to download it from their homepage and then you need to connect your Flam Fusion to your smartphone. Updating, please wait, this might take a while. Perfect, it worked. That's something which is really great at the airfield if you need a new update. You can do the same with the obstacle database. Up to now I did not install this one. Okay, let's have a look here. The Flam setup, um, it's the same as the Flam configuration tool. Um, here you can set up that we are a glider or a motor glider, have a transponder or not, the data ports, the baud rate, also here with ADSB and so on, with the audio, uh, you can also upload your existing configuration file. So if you already have a power flam installed, you can simply use your USB stick for this configuration and put it into the new power flam fusion. So it's compatible and it works. And most probably this is the, the quickest possibility to, to make an update from the power flam core to the power flam fusion. So all those old-fashioned features are still working so you can still do it with a USB stick. That's really great. Then here with this Flam hub setup you can make a password so um, that perhaps in a club not everyone um, can access this um, Flam hub here. So let's try to connect the power Flam Fusion with Bluetooth to the smartphone and use the connection for Exisor. So I will click on this button here and then I need to disable the Wi-Fi feature. Let's have a look at the Bluetooth. Switch it on. Yeah, it's this one is already connected. And then we will see it's an accessor. Yes, we want to connect. Then config and mirror devices. Here I already have selected this one. 
So here in this list, you then can connect your um, Flam Fusion. Let's click there. Okay. And then it's connected. That's really easy and great. So unfortunately, we don't have GPS in the house here. I hope you guys got a good overview of the new Powerflam Fusion device. At the beginning of this video, I asked if it's really worth to upgrade an existing Flam installation to the new Powerflam Fusion. At the end, it's your own decision, but in my opinion, if you still have a classic Flam, then it's a good time to update to the new Powerflam Fusion because you get the Powerflam technology, so you get a better range for the flam, you get a second flam antenna, you get the ADSB, you get the IGC logger, the engine noise level sensor, the audio output, and everything packed in this device. So all licenses are already installed. With the introduction price, it's a great deal. If you already have installed a power flam core with all the additional licenses, not really sure if it's worth to upgrade because, um, yeah, the the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth features are great, but um, you can also do the same with a USB stick. It's only a little bit more of work, but um, at the end, it's the same device. I'm really thankful that Flam sent me the new Power Flam Fusion. I hope you enjoyed this type of review. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Cheers.